Plans to make the euro available for use as a digital currency have come a step closer. The European Central Bank has unveiled a two-year project to develop a euro-backed digital wallet or online account. It says the aim is to create the safest form of digital payments, but the new-look DigiEuro is likely to have some tough conditions attached. Well, let's talk to Marcus Will, the uh, European economist at the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland. Marcus Will, welcome. Um, why is a central bank-backed digital currency becoming such a priority in Europe, China and elsewhere? Because otherwise they would be missing out the future. Uh, the digital money is smarter and faster and desperately needed in the Internet of Things. You can't pay with cash in the Internet of Things. So if central banks want to keep control and the monopoly over issuing money, they got to join the forces and the, and, 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 uh, and the business. And that's why the ECB announced the pilot period today. What advantages could a central bank-backed digital currency have over other virtual currencies? Well, it's safer. Uh, it is less speculative. It is uh, basically issued by a um, public institution. Uh, and overall, it is very important for the data security and the data secrecy if that's being uh, controlled by, uh, by a public institution rather than a private institution which wants to make money with the data. It's still early days, isn't it? I wonder what kind of challenges lie ahead before this uh, becomes a reality. Well, first, there are technical uh, challenges, of course. Um, and secondly, there is the big issue how you involve the current banking system, the financial system. Uh, central banks are very much... Uh, if, fearing the situation that the current banking system is not really technological ready for this digital money supply. And that is why you really need to look at it in the next two to five years, how you can involve uh, and evolve the existing banking system and promote obviously new contenders on the block. And what are your thoughts on how crypto coins and a central bank backed currency might interact? Well, good old economic theory, they will compete. And that's really what I am envisaged to, 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 to happen, that uh, once ordinary people like you and me maybe at some point want to uh, pay in, in digital money rather than in cash, uh, would you prefer a Bitcoin or would you prefer some kind of a government coin, a gov coin from the ECB, from the Bank of China, uh, from the Fed and anyone else? So that's going to be competition and that's good for the future. Marcus Will at the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland, thank you very much for coming on the programme.